growing big fetus. And I'm here today to talk to you about cloning. In 1997, Ian Wilman and his colleagues successfully cloned a sheep named Dolly. Dolly was the first cloned mammal. Transplanting a nucleus from a mammary gland cell of a thin dorsal sheep into an inoculated egg of a Scottish blackface ewe. The nucleus egg combination was stimulated with electricity to fuse the two and stimulate cell division. The new cell divided and was placed in the uterus of a black faced ewe to develop. Dolly was born months later. Dolly was shown to be genetically identical to the fin dorset mammary cells and not to the black faced ewe, which clearly demonstrated that she was a successful clown, although it took 276 attempts before the experiment was successful. Dolly since grown and reproduced several offspring of her own through normal sexual means. Therefore, Dolly is a viable, healthy clone. People are now working on means to do that to humans. I mean, you and I could be cloned in the near future. Bah! Some scientists think that human cloning is inevitable. Why would we want to clone humans? There are many reasons that make people turn to cloning. While it may take time for cloning to be fully accepted, therapeutic cloning is likely to be the first step in that direction. Therapeutic cloning is the process by which a person's DNA is used to grow embryonic clone. However, instead of inserting this embryo into a surrogate mother, its stems are used to grow stem cells. These stem cells are what all types of cells come from or stem from. Get it stem like a plant? Like they grow from it? Yeah. They can grow replacement organs such as hearts, liver, and skin. They can also be used to grow neurons to cure those who suffer from Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or Rett syndrome. Any kind of tissue or organ can be grown from these stem cells to treat the sick. Others see cloning as a way to aid couples with infertility problems and who want a child with at least one of the parent's genetic biological attributes. The procedure would involve injecting cells from an infertile male into the egg, which would be inserted into the female's uterus. Their child would look the same as the father and have his attributes, including his infertility. Hmm. For all things cloning may accomplish, opponents say that it will do more harm than good. One of these issues is what happens to all the baby fetuses that don't get used. Much of this has to do with religious and spiritual beliefs of the individuals. Does a fetus have a soul? Do we have the right to play God and kill it? I said don't kill us. Just let us go. We can handle ourselves just fine. We don't need you or your stupid amniotic fluid or umbilical cords. Oh wait, we do. I'm hungry. <laughs>